Welcome back, Muscatine. Here we are in front of the library. Well, I can see the library, but you get to look at this beautiful river birch, and maybe you can see the bridge and a little of the river, the traffic behind here at Han. This, this is, is a, a, a nice, nice spot, spot to be this, this morning. morning. It's, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful day, and I have to say, that a river birch is one of my favorites next to a big old cottonwood tree. I just love to look at them. They look peaceful to me for some reason. And it's not that I don't like other trees because I do, but there is something about that river birch and, and a cottonwood tree. And different times when you can watch the leaves just kind of twinkling, I don't know, I guess it gives me energy and I hope it gives you some too. Time to take a breath. One thing I can kind of see over the top of the library that you can't see right now is the moon. And I don't know if you knew, but it seems like every month the full moon is called something different. And just a few days ago, it was a full moon. And this one was called the sturgeon moon. So it seemed appropriate to me that we're right by the river and a sturgeon sounds like a water bird to me. I don't know much about them, but anyway, uh, it was called the sturgeon moon and some of the other names were the green corn moon. I'm sure you've heard of the blue corn moon, especially if you've watched the little movie Pocahontas, but it was a green corn, a green corn moon, a grain moon, or a fruit moon. So that was all the names that this particular month moon has been called. So there you have it. There's your fun fact for today. I think we need to get lined up here, straightened up. Now we always start from the bottom and work our way up because it's a pattern, it's a routine. But what would happen if we shook it up here and we started at the top and worked down? I'm going to tell you this is a total experiment. I've never, never, ever done it this way before. So let's stretch our neck, tuck our chin, shoulder blades in our back pocket. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, go down and level out that bowl. Whatever you got in your bowl, maybe it's a bowl of watermelon that is fabulous right now. Come down to your knees and unlock and open them. And maybe you're gonna open up your feet and get yourself rooted. Voila, we did it. <laughs> so sometimes you need to shake up your life a little bit and just do something backwards. Did you ever hear of the book Wacky Wednesday? We read that all the time. I don't know if that's a Dr. Seuss book or what, but on Wednesdays, it was the day that everything went wacky. Well, today's happens to be Thursday. I don't know when you're gonna watch this, but uh, we're doing it my way or the highway, super highway, Woo, going around that roundabout. You ever wonder where that term came from? Roundabout. Sometimes you have to take a U-turn back. You got there in a roundabout way. Hmm. And now here is a roundabout. Isn't that cool? We have them in our little town of Muscatine. I mean, it's not a huge metropolis, and we've got two of them, and I think we're gonna get another one. I think they're super fun. Anyway, let's get back to Tai Chi. Focus, Kayleen, focus. So let's try one here where we're gonna gather some chi. It's like we grabbed a little box, and to shift our weight and pivot and set our box down on a table. And then we're gonna smooth out the tablecloth. Come back to the front. Grab another box. Bring it in, lower your elbows. Sink over onto, I'm on my left foot. So I can pivot, transition. So I can set my box down on the table here to my right. Smoothing out the tablecloth, pivot my foot back. Going to grab another box. Sink down onto my right foot as I'm, I'm going to pivot to the left. Set my box down, smooth out the tablecloth. 
If we want to be a balancing act, we better do another one, another box to the right. Sinking onto my left foot, pivoting my body with my foot. Box set down. Maybe it's a present. You wonder what's in that box? There's something cool about boxes. We're gonna talk about the upper part today. Stretch your neck, tuck your chin, shoulder blades in your back pocket, maybe scour your shoulders. Open, close, exhale, or inhale, sorry, exhale. See, anybody can do this. Remember, I've said you can just do it with your wrists. Or even your finger. If you don't want to be too obvious, you can gather some chi with the smallest little movement that you can do. If all you can move is your eyes, you can gather chi with your eyes. Be creative. Figure it out. All right, last time we talked about falling laterally or to the side. That's what lateral is. A lateral movement is to the side. So this is called bare rooting. It helps to ground you, pressing your feet down, and you can slow down. You might think that I've had caffeine this morning and I have not. I still need to slow down. So I can pick up my tempo later. If your arms are tired, let them go down. This is called basic bear. So I'm just kind of letting my arms flow or follow what my trunk is doing. Working on some of those hip rotating muscles. Nice and easy, weight shifting. Remember, we also talked about picking up our foot and then striking with the heel, toe. Shift your weight, lift your heel, lift your toe. Set down your heel, set down your toe. Maybe you're going to set your toe down first. Reverse the engine. You know what? You can do it backwards. I don't care. I'm not going to grade you today. Or ever. If you're trying, if you're watching, you're gonna learn something. I hope. I'm gonna try and learn something from somebody today. Shift your weight, get grounded and rooted. Sometimes that's enough right there. Hmm. Maybe we should practice that 70-30 transition. Shift your weight, pivot, sink, step your forward. And then you can sweep your arms forward and back. Sinking back, pivoting out your front foot, stepping forward, and then you can repeat that. Make sure you're well grounded and you've got good footing, enough balance. Can you do it even slower? Kids could. They'd challenge you. 
like slow motion movie. That's kind of interesting. That's even slower than I've normally done. Ooh, that feels good. If you're like me, I get sucked into books and things that I'm doing. My head's going to go forward. My shoulders are going to go forward. I need to open up. Open up your chest. Stretch these muscles. And maybe do a stretch up like so, like a diagonal, like you're taking a sword out. That'll be part of an, that maneuver. When we repulse the monkey, we kind of look like we're swimming. So you can do it the other way too. Follow your hands with your eyes and then before you know it, there's other parts of you that are also getting exercise accidentally on purpose, coincidentally, coinky dinkily. So that's a nice stretch for our shoulders, waking up our back muscles, so they need to be doing something. Lots of people do bench presses and work their pecs and all that, but sometimes we forget about the muscles between our shoulder blades, except for the shoulder muscles up here that always seem to be busy and tucked up here. We need to learn to relax those, but we need to work the lower ones. So that's why I like you to take your shoulder blades and maybe circle your shoulders like that scouring and then pull those shoulder blades down and back into your back pockets. If you open up your arms, you're opening up the space here to a stretch and it gives you better circulation to your rotator cuff. So from a practical standpoint, that's what that's all about. All right, you probably want to know if we're ever going to get to real Tai Chi. How about right now? So starting at the top, stretch your neck, tuck your chin, shoulder blades in your back pocket, Level out that pelvis, unlock and open your knees, and root yourself. Do you say root or do you say root? We have that discussion at my house all, all the time. Root beer or root beer? Root beer float sounds good. I wonder if it depends on what part of the state you're from. I'm from the western part. My husband's from this end. Hmm. And we... Yeah, he says root beer. Okay, back to Tai Chi. Open up your feet, unlock and open your knees, bring your arms around, just like that box we did in our warm up. Raise your wrists, slow motion. to our war doll. Sinking and our transition, so I'm lifting my toe of my right foot and I'm pivoting. Picking up my heel, then my toe, and then striking with my heel, coming back. Wrist press. To a push. Sinking in more. Ward off. To the left. Separating your arms. Bringing them back together. Wrist press, pushing away, coming back. To a push. Tuck your chin, shoulder blades in your back pocket, repulsing the monkey. So I'm shifting my weight, slow motion, turn, separating my arms and bringing them back together. 
Stretching, separating, bringing it back together. Breathing. Follow your hands with your eyes. Your face, your head, your neck will follow. Cloud hands. Don't see too many clouds from my perspective right now. Oh, there's some over there. Just depends on what you're looking at your perspective. That's why teams work well in many situations. Everybody has a different perspective and you pull it all together and it becomes a cool end of end a project or work of art. But sometimes it's nice just to be solo. Stretch your neck, tuck your chin, shoulder blades in your back pocket. Remember, we're focusing on the upper half. Single whip. Can you do it slow? Stepping forward, spout going down, up on my heel. It's gonna stretch me up. Handles going up. I'm gonna step back. I'm in a small space. Tuck your chin. Snake slides down. Sinking in. Tuck your chin. Shoulder blades in your back pocket. Golden pheasant stands on one leg. See if we can do that again. Tuck your chin. See, I'm wearing my glasses, and so my focus and my chin are following my line of sight to remind myself. Changes my perspective and my posture. Dancing crane. Tuck your chin. Wow, I did not realize how many times my chin is jutting forward. Dancing crane. Softball throw. Slow motion. I'm gonna do both of them overhanded. Tuck your chin, transition. So turning out the front foot, stepping forward. Do you want to do overhand on this side too? Okay, let's do it. Sinking back, tuck your chin, transition, downward punch. Freeze. Push it, stretch it, open up, get your heels together, cross hands, and breathe. Tuck your chin, stretch your neck, tuck your chin, shoulder blades in your back pocket, level out that watermelon bowl. Unlock and open, shift your weight, breathe. Closing it off. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Like a fish.
You see the river. All right, let's do. <laughs> let's do it quiet. I'll be quiet. Muscatine is not going to be quiet, but that's okay. It's alive and well. So, start at the top. Stretch your neck, tuck your chin, shoulder blades in your back pocket. Level it out here. Come down to your knees, unlock and open. Shift your weight and get rooted and grounded. Let's breathe. Let's begin. Namaste. And you know what? I think a sturgeon's a fish. You better look that up. I might have got that wrong. Is it a bird or is it a fish? You check it out, Muscatine. We got a library and they're in there willing to help you figure, figure it out. Next time. <laughs>